All right, guys, so today we're going to look at the Brix Nestable Accordion and a couple of issues with it that could be improved and some enhancements that I've made uh, to make it work a little bit better. Now, I'll share this whole template as a exported template so you can import it and you'll have all the code and settings that you need and then you can work out where you go from there. So what we've got in the editor here is we've got a default... I think it's just up here. Uh, yep, a default accordion nestable added to the editor. Um, and just using the default items that it put in there. I've then added a second one. I've created a BEM class group on this. So this one I've called the enhanced accordion. And then these items underneath it are BEM elements with the two underscores there. Now this accordion here is exactly the same as that accordion there. The difference is that we haven't done any of the styling of how that looks uh, in the UI. We're doing that in CSS. So he heading to the CSS over here, we'll come back to this a little bit later. We're actually using some CSS to control what happens with that. So let's look at the two enhancements that we are looking to achieve with this. So the first built-in default nestable accordion with some basic styling on it is at the top here. And what we're going to do, if I click on this top item, watch what happens when I clicked on it. Again, this is slow down to one second so you can see. So I click it, we wait, it opens, and then I get the open state. We click, we wait, it closes, then I get the closed state. So the first issue is, I want to see, when I click that, I want to see a change in its state while it's opening. I don't want to wait till the end and see whether it's open or closed. Second thing is, there's no animation or nothing changing on the icon at the end of it uh, because you have to do some custom CSS to make that work because it's not a default setting in the accordion. So that's the first issue with it. Now the second issue is there's zero keyboard accessibility. So if I press the enter key while I'm on one of these, uh, it does absolutely nothing. Uh, if I press the tab key, it does nothing. Whereas we've got a better way of doing this. All right, so that's the two issues. So there's no keyboard accessibility and the state changes at the end of the animation not at the beginning so we want to change both those things so down the bottom here i've got a second version so it's basically a copy of that done differently if i click on the accordion one straight away our heading state changes We've got the icon at the end animating and the heading state changes immediately you'll also notice that when i've clicked on it i've got a focus around it uh, if i press the enter key it's going to open, press the enter key again, it's going to close, arrow down, it opens, arrow down, it closes, press the tab key to go to the next one, press the enter key, it opens, enter key, it closes. So it's fully keyboard accessible and our animation, sorry, our state changes when we click on the element, not at the end of the animation. So I think it's an improvement. Um, we look at how we do that. So the first thing we need to look at is the, uh, for our test accordion here is that the styling of the accordion we're doing with custom CSS. I've done variables up here, which I always use. So it's really simple for you to create variations and change all your settings in one place. Um, we're then basically setting our transition for the icon and the title. So we're actually coloring the title, uh, which is actually the link and the, the header. Um, and uh, we're then setting our title, background and color. So that's the... Uh, transparent uh, gray there uh, and our black is our color for our uh, text uh, and then we look targeting the item when we have a class WP open which we're going to do differently so bricks adds a BRX uh, dash open but it adds it at the end of the animation or end of the yeah and end of the animation for the open and closing but we want one that adds at the beginning. So we've got some JavaScript that's going to do this for us. So we're going to look for WPE-open. We're going to target the title and set the background and the color. So as soon as this gets added to the DOM, uh, added to the element, I should say, then our title and background should, color, should uh, change color. Uh, we're then also going to use that same selector to target the icon and rotate that by 90 degrees. Note the use of these arrows here. The reason we've done that is we want this to be extremely selective CSS rule. And the reason for that is because we may end up with a structure where we've got accordions inside accordions. So this content here might actually be another accordion. 
Uh, so we only want to say when we're open, we want to target our direct title that's below us and then our direct icon, and that won't affect any accordions that are inside that as content. So that's the reason we make it very specific. That's the CSS, all there is to it, all right? The JavaScript is a little bit more complex. I won't go through all of the JavaScript. Uh, I'm just going to show you that it's in this code box here. So you have to execute your code box. So you have to have executing uh, enabled for your administrator, or whatever you are. Uh, you have to enable the execution and render without wrapper. And that's our JavaScript there. I won't go through all of it, how it works. But what we, importantly, we've given our test accordion a BEM block name of enhanced accordion. If you change that, you need to change these up here, uh, change our selectors there. Uh, our open class is WPE open. Again, you can change that if you want to, uh, and then use your own prefix if you want to. Um, we wait for the DOM content to get loaded. Uh, we're going to get all of the accordions, so all of the accordions that have enhanced accordion uh, on them. Um, so we'll put that class on that one there. So all of those accordions, we're going to iterate through all of the items. Uh, we'll skip over here. We're going to do some accessibility stuff first. So we're going to skip over all of the items. We're going to get the titles from those items. Um, and then we're going to set our attribute as an aria role of button, tab index of zero, and that makes it accessible. That means that when we press the tab, uh, the browser thinks this is a button, which it should be. Um, and it will tab to it, okay? And then we add a event listener for key down. So when we're on a, uh, when we're tabbed or focused on one of these elements, we press a key, we're looking for the key down. If it is 13 or 40, so that's enter or arrow down, then we want to uh, click the target to, to change the state of it. All right, so that's all that does. And then we're down here, we've got an event listener on all of the, um, titles where we're going to then set our open state. So the set open state is going, which is a function up here, is going to remove our WPE open of all of these items and then add it to the one that we clicked if it wasn't already open. Okay, so it acts like a proper accordion and that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's have a look at actually in the DOM what actually happens. So we saw the accordion two up here. So the first accordion, we saw that there, when we click on the accordion, after a delay, we get this BRXE open just there. All right, so do that again, click it again, BRXE open disappears, click it again, BRXE open appears. So that's what Brix is using to apply its styling based on the active state. If we look at, our enhanced version. So that's this one here. Watch the DOM. So if I click that, um, we're looking at the item. So I've got that block there. So we get the enhanced accordion item. As soon as I click it, I get WP open on there. Click it again, and the WP open is gone. If I click the next one down, that one's got the WP open straight away. Actually, watch those. Watch this one here. So at the moment, it's just got the listening on it. When I click it, Straight away, I get WP open, and then after it opens, I get BRX open. So ours is appearing straight away. Bricks waits for the end of the animation. So that is the enhancements. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. It's not too complicated. Um, I will share all of I have here as a template, uh, and you can certainly import that if you want to and have a play with it. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to focus on making the um, tabs more accessible and enhancing the way they work. Uh, and then in uh, probably a week or so, uh, I'll make a video showing how to use these um, with WooCommerce to display your product tabs uh, with either an accordion or an enhanced tab. So I hope you like this. Uh, if you do, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and uh, let everyone know. Thank you.